These things are poisonous, they have prickly hairs all over them, and people in five southern states hate them. But I think that they're beautiful. For my whole life, I have hated bugs and spiders. But when my son was four, he became really interested in bugs and spiders. So he and I started a bug collection together. And it turns out that scorpions are actually found all over Utah. What's interesting to me about scorpions is how well suited they are to their environment. For example, uh, we have two ears and we can hear where things are in relation to us, but scorpions have vibration sensors in each leg. So imagine having eight ears to hear where things are. Scorpions know where things are in the sand in relation to themselves. Scorpions live in the desert, and so they're really efficient with their water. But miraculously, even though their metabolism is slow, they can still handle short bursts of activity in order to get their prey. As a chemist, something I can really appreciate is that scorpions have chemical detectors on the bottom of their bodies, and so they can sense when other scorpions are nearby. But one of the most exciting things to me about scorpions is a bit of a mystery. If you go out at night with a purple light and you shine it on a scorpion, their skin absorbs some of that energy and it emits green light, so they're really easy to see. So as I've studied scorpions and learned about all of these amazing little features, it's turned this hairy, creepy little creature into a thing of beauty made by a creator. <laughs>